I'm Daniel Hester. Welcome to the Metal School. Anytime you weld something, it's going to want to pull. And it always wants to pull in the direction that you end the weld. So in order to try and keep your work square, if you're trying to make a square corner, you're going to want to weld it in a particular order. I'm going to weld the outside corner first, and that's going to lock this in so that when I weld the fillet weld on the inside, it doesn't pull as much. Fillets, fillets tend to pull a lot more than butt welds. And when you're doing a flare bevel weld like we have on the top here, you'll find that the direction that you are traveling, where you end your weld, it's hotter than when you begin your weld. And so it tends to pull more in that direction. So because the fillet weld is going to want to make it shrink in this direction, I'm going to weld these flare bevel welds from the inside corner out. But to start with, I'm going to do the outside corner. Pill, nice tidy weld. Now I'm going to weld the flare bevel weld from the inside out. When I'm doing the flare bevel weld, I've got a much larger gap. So I'm going to concentrate the heat more on the square tubing than on the tubing with the open end. Add a lot of filler metal to fill up that radius gap. And weave it slightly back and forth. Nice, tight, flat weld. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. And lastly, I'm going to do the fillet on the inside. Welding it in this order and in this direction is going to minimize the amount of uh, the amount of deformation or shrinkage. Um, <clears throat> welding it in this order is going to minimize the amount of 
change to squareness that your uh, your project will. Say that again. Kind of just head, him saying that. Say that line one more time. Go for it. Welding it in this order is going to minimize the amount of deflection that the cooling metal will have on the angle of your work on the finished product. There's your basic butt type corner weld. So as you can see, we've got three different kinds of welds we've done here. We've got a butt weld, we've got a flare bevel weld, it's come out nice and flat. And we also have a nice fillet weld. And welding in that order is gonna help minimize the amount of deformation you get from the shrinkage of the metal.